This is a $20,000 Yu-Gi-Oh collection, and we're gonna be showing you guys everything we bought in this video. What's up, everybody? We are back with another collection purchase where we have purchased a lot of sealed items. And if you guys are interested in anything you see in this video, a lot of it will be on Ruxin34.com. So go check out my website if you guys want to pick up any of the tins you see, sealed packs, blister packs, whatever you see. A lot of it is going to be available there. But before we hop into it, we have a giveaway. We have a giveaway from UK Blue Eyes who actually hooked me up with one of our LODT cases because we had a lot of trouble getting those last week. So or whenever you see this, it probably was last week. He gave away. So here's his, his guard uh a 25th anniversary legend blue eyes pack so shout out to him if you guys want to win that booster pack just like the video be subscribed turn notifications let me know down below what do you like the most out of this collection there are a ton of different sealed items so let's get to it all right let's start off with the booster boxes uh we're starting off low which is the blazing vortex this is you know obviously not a huge booster box but you can get the pot of prosperity starlight rare which is about half the price maybe even less than it used to be so we're not going to spend too much time on that one then we have a tomb chaos booster box which is pretty cool tomb chaos is very awesome first edition good looking stuff then we have more old school we have a labyrinth of nightmare i'm looking at this thing though i don't really feel great about this seal actually i didn't really look too closely at these there was only a couple booster boxes i didn't really spend too much time looking at them but honestly i don't feel incredible about this box the wrap definitely doesn't feel great honestly this i mean it'd be weird because it's an unlimited it'd be a weird one to reseal who knows maybe we'll have to open it up for a video i don't feel incredible about that one i just noticed that a second ago see this one though this magic ruler definitely feels better this one definitely feels a lot more real just kind of the feel of it the look of it it's a 36 pack booster box so this one looks good yeah for the most part this one seems better from what i can tell so yeah that one seems better 36 pack very good then we have a Legacy of Darkness. This one definitely feels pretty good. Yeah, this one feels pretty good. Yeah, that 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 one is almost 100% legit. I think those last two are both pretty strong. The 36s are always a little weird because they're like a different size, you know? This one, th when you get a box that's like super tight, it's like almost too, too clean. That's when you start getting concerned. I am not 100% sure because it's unlimited, so it could be a little different, but I do not feel good about this LON box. So this one will not be for sale, probably just because, you know, it could be it could be resealed or something like that, which would be so weird for an unlimited. So maybe it's not. Maybe we'll just open it up at some point and see what happens. Uh, then we have a Metal Raiders. This one feels pretty good as well. I should have spent a little bit more time looking at these, but so I met up with uh, OG Collector 19 or something like that on Instagram. He drove up from Houston, so he had a really long drive. It was like 12 hours, something like that to come drop this off. We made a transaction in the bank parking lot. It was funny because I was going through everything, making sure everything's in there. And then we had the bank people come out and be like, what are you guys doing out here? Are you, is there any solicitation going on? We're like, actually, I was about to come in there, you know, get a cashier's check, all that different stuff. And they're like, oh, okay, sorry. People were telling us that you, so like people like told on us for like soliciting in the parking lot, which is what not what we were doing. I was just making sure everything was in the collection, but it was, it was pretty funny. I was like, uh, I was like, are we in trouble? Like we didn't do anything, but this one looks pretty good. That's why I didn't have as much time because we had to go through a million different things. You guys will see everything in this video. I probably should have spent a little bit more time on the boxes. Really, this is the only one I'm worried about. And it's unlimited, so it's probably five, six hundred dollars, something like that. So it is it is big. But in terms of the I think we spent sixteen thousand. It's worth a little bit over 20, something like that for the total collection. So it's a small piece of the collection. It's not a huge deal, but hopefully it is legit. And hopefully I can just open it up or something for a video. OK, let's see about this. So we have a starter deck now. We have a starter deck Pegasus. This is an unlimited. It seems pretty nice, not very nice, but it's pretty nice for what it is. Unlimited starter deck Pegasus, very cool. And uh, that's not the only starter deck. You could probably guess what's coming next. Then we have an unlimited starter deck Joey. So also unlimited starter deck Joey, Red Eyes, Pegasus. I mean, these, these two came out the same year, I think 2003 at the same time. Very classic, very nostalgic, especially that Pegasus one for me. Then we go all the way back to 2002. We have a starter deck Yugi. That is very. That looks like that. Uh, it looks like maybe this was in the sun at some point because I might have gotten some sun to it on that dark magician in there. That's pretty cool. Uh, 2002. Very cool. And then finally, we have the uh, blue eyes, white dragon Kaiba deck. This one is like a little bit ripped, so it's like open on this side, but it's sealed on that side. Yeah, it's kind of weird. So this one's definitely been uh, been through it. It's probably it's basically open at this point. 
Uh, definitely not the best condition one for the blue eyes. It seems like maybe it's been pulled out or something like that, but still very cool, very classic. It's pretty much put together. It's ripped up. It seems like maybe, yeah, see like you can open it up basically so you can see what's in there. So it's just, oh, whoa. This is a faded blue eyes. That's kind of insane, actually. It's a faded blue eyes deck. That's awesome. So originally, I thought this was like partially sealed. It's definitely not sealed, but it has a faded blue eyes sealed in the deck. So that's <laughs> that's pretty cool. That's probably almost the same. Very cool. That's awesome. All right. Very nice stuff. The blue eyes. Really? Okay. I wonder if that... I wonder if this one's also... Okay, that one is actually sealed, but it looks like maybe that one could be faded in there as well. That's pretty cool. All right, super cool. I mean, that's that's really cool to see that uh, faded blue eyes sealed in the deck. So like, yeah, you don't you don't see that very often. Then we have the uh, GXX generation. Originally, I was going to buy a bunch of these. I think he had a bunch. He ended up selling all but this one. So we just have one of these. Uh, but there are other blisters coming up, including the ultimate edition one and two. So these are very cool because they have the let's move this blue eyes ultimate dragon in there. They've got a uh, Shonen Jump magazine. And then two Dark Revelation Volume 2 packs inside. Then there's an Ultimate Edition 2. So there is the Dragon Master Knight. Very awesome. Also has uh, some stuff inside, including Dark Revelation 3 packs. Then there is uh, a big box of a bunch of these, which we have opened several times on the channel. We have GX Special Edition. So I think there's like 16 of these. So they have Lost Millennium, Cybernetic Revolution, and Elemental Energy inside, plus the promo. There's a bunch of different ones. Then we have some more blister packs right here. There is Ancient Sanctuary, not one, but two Ancient Sanctuary right there, which is good because I think I oversold Ancient Sanctuary. Or I sold one on Whatnot, and then it bought a, somebody bought one on my website, and I was like, man, I'm out of those. I'm going to have to refund. Well, I have another one, so perfect. So <laughs> that actually works. Then two Pharaonic Guardians. These are both unlimited as well. Very cool blisters. We have two Magic Ruler Original on limbs. Very beautiful. I mean, these are in really good shape, especially this one. This one almost looks like it's out of a blister. But honestly, both of these do except this. Pretty nice. Then a Pharaoh Servant Original print. Also really good. Has a little bin there. A Legend of Blue Eyes, not $3.97. I know everyone wants to make the joke. I can tell you're typing right now. Uh, then there is the Duelist Pack, Jaden Yuki and Astro Phoenix. This one looks like this is a repackaged one. So that's Chaz, Princeton, and Jaden back there, it looks like. Two packs, third party. We have a Legacy of Darkness blister pack and a Labyrinth of Nightmare blister pack. So a bunch of cool blisters in there. Then we have more starter deck action. We have, this is, uh, how do you, what do you even call this? The Evolution. So starter deck, Yugi Evolution, and Kaiba Case. Let's see if I can give a better look at this. See, it's first edition. This is the one with like Kaiser Seahorse and Blackluster Soldier on it on the covers. Uh, so there, I think, are five of each in, inside. So very cool looking. There's all the, the text back there. Very, very cool. Very classic. 2004 release on these, I believe. Then we've got another big one. We've got Legendary Collection 2. I should probably just pull the camera out for all these because we're going to have a few big ones in a row. All right, here we go. So we've got 58 cards in all, including 28 foil cards. It's the biggest deal anywhere. While wow, they're advertising how good of a deal it is on the packaging. That's interesting. So you got all of the Sacred Beasts. We've got the Time for Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Classic Reunion and the sweetest deal in the history. Why do they keep talking about it? What, the, what a deal it is. How have I never noticed this before? Oh, what a deal. What a deal. Okay, each box of Legendary is stuffed, stuffed with? Who came up with, like, the writing for this? This is crazy. All right, and then they show you all the promos. So that's very cool. Sealed Binder. The original came out in 20, let's guess 12, I think is when this, this one came out. And speaking of binders, we have the original Yu-Gi-Oh! Legendary Collection binder. This is, came out in 2010, so this is a pretty old one at this point. 14 years old on the binder. How crazy is that? Then uh, Treasures from the Dawn of Dueling. Nothing about deals in here. They're like, no, nah, this deal sucks. The next one's great. The best-selling booster packs. So that's why they did them. The best-selling booster packs. Really? Dark Crisis, huh? Best-selling booster packs. So that's saying MFC back then was not a best-selling booster pack, guys. We finally discovered the mystery of why they did these six. They were the best-selling booster packs. I had no idea. Makes perfect sense why they would reprint them. Pretty cool. And we're not done with binders we have master collection volume one this has the first six packs so they didn't do best selling here they just did the first six and they have six foil variants which are very cool inside 
not as much like it's just like kind of a cool binder they don't have as many like graphics they're talking about how great of a deal it is on here it looks like on volume two they upped the graphics a little bit i like this one better it's super shiny it's like the rainbow looking it's very nice we've got all of the promos or at least some of the promos you get there so this had the next five plus the exclusive pack so it had uh everything after a legacy of darkness right yeah legacy of darkness and then yeah so they went pharaonic guardian all the way to ancient sanctuary plus the exclusive pack and the promos we should have gone through these earlier the psa cards there's only four of of them so they're, they're pretty low end they're not crazy or anything we have crystal beast sapphire pegasus psa 9 rocket warrior psa 9 they're mostly 10 promos uriah lord of searing flames psa 9 and then the rainbow dragon psa 9 so those will be up as well but that's that's pretty much all the psa stuff that is all the psa stuff then we have another box of blister packs here so this is an entire box of force of the breaker blister packs so i think it's 20 inside let's see two, three, four, five, six, 20 of these first edition force of the breaker. Very cool. Then if you like blisters, we also have power of the duelist. So this is kind of a weird set because it's, re, you know, the retail is not crazy in it, but there are a few cool cards like the, is it no, not miracle fusion, the tower future fusion. There we go. Yeah. So these are, these are unlimited blisters. Okay. Yeah. So these are like interesting unlimited power of the duelist blisters. Pretty cool. Pretty nice. There's 20 of them inside, just like the uh, Force of the Breaker. Then there's one more blister box. This is actually pretty cool. This is a Dark Beginning 2 blister box. So this is a set you don't see too often. The thing about these blister boxes is they often come out like this. They're a little bit bent like that, so you could probably bend them back, but uh, they just kind of warp like that over time. So Dark Beginning 2 blister, very, very cool. Really cool set, honestly. It just doesn't have the secret rares. That's what it really needs to like you know to open an old set a lot you kind of want to have that chase and it's just ultras you know so it's not as cool as it could be but it's a very cool reprint set from back in the day all right now we're on to the tens we have a bunch of tens we have the rainbow dragon 2007 10 i mean we're gonna rifle through these because we have a lot we have the jack atlas 10 is this a euro 10 when it just has jack atlas on it what's inside 2009 ancient prophecy i think this normally has doesn't this is this a different one than the ancient fairy or is this just like the euro version i'm not sure very cool i know they have the ones sometimes they have the character on them sometimes they don't uh pretty weird okay these are cool the power tool dragon 10 i think these have first edition packs in them for ancient prophecy maybe something like that i used to have a bunch of these i used to be able to I, there was some place it was like amazon or something sold like these for like 50 bucks and they would go for like 250 so for a while i got a bunch of those which is pretty cool then we have a uh grand neos 10 very nice 2007 10 we have a uh plasma 10 a crystal beast sapphire pegasus 10 we've got the elements of hero shining flare wingman that's a beautiful 10 secret rare got that nice secret rare promo i mean they look so good then the uh, plasma vice beautiful yeah there's a lot of 10s we have another raviel we had a, an entire case for a while of those actually two cases didn't we it was pretty crazy then we have the uh the elemental hero neos as well the insect queen my insect queen weevil underwood classic and it really good packs in there magician's force invasion of chaos veronic guardian i mean this is classic stuff and then of course the uh total defense shogun we're not done yet by the way not a, that that sounded like i was done there's more then there is a rocket warrior 10 this is 2005 the square ones are 2005 i i don't really like the the 2004 2005 where they changed them up and made them look different not a huge fan of it but it is definitely unique speaking of though 2005 the best 2005 10 the dark magician girl that's a pretty expensive 10 i don't know off the top of my head but it's definitely the most expensive of that era uh we got another one the guilford the lightning also really classic then there's more 2004 command night we've got swift guy uh, secret rare and obnoxious celtic guardian so is that it no no that's not it there's more all right another 2004 we got blade knight secret rare we've got one of my favorite tens the vorse raider that is really awesome vorse raider 10 panther warrior there's joey wheeler the uriah lord of searing flames that is an awesome one that is a really awesome one then we'll complete the full set with Haman. so we have all of the tens from 2006 that's sick or at least the uh sacred beast because that's i think we might have all the 2006 because neos raviel are we missing one maybe we're missing one i'm not sure then oh wait no we are missing one cyber dragon here it is so this is one of the best ones ever made cyber dragon one of my favorite ever definitely really cool that's awesome okay so that's it except for one last thing which is actually 12 things you can guess what it is okay here's the last thing i've got a weird setup over here well, we have an entire case of 2003 tins. So 
You've got blue eyes. You got a couple of those. XYZ Dragon Cannon. You've got Dark Magician, Dark Magician, Genzo, Genzo, Gear Freed, and who's the last one? Uh, Buster Blader. So an entire case of 2003 10s. Pretty awesome way to end this collection. Overall, just a lot of amazing stuff in here. All right, so that's everything we picked up. As you guys saw, it's a lot of sealed items. Oh, everything will be for sale. Well, maybe not everything, but most everything. Probably not that LON box. I probably just, just to be safe, I don't want to sell it to somebody. Maybe I'll open it up myself and see what's up with it or ask some other people around. But overall, everything else looks really nice. And uh, a lot of it will be up on ruxa34.com. So go down below or you can just go to Google ruxa34.com. It'll come up and you guys can see if there's anything you liked in the video that you want to pick up. Still haven't decided if I want to grab anything myself to open up. I don't know. I, I usually ends up happening. So we'll see what you guys buy and what you don't and what. Well, we do have LON, I guess. That'll be interesting to uh, open up at some point. Shout out to Tolan Fosho, Show, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutscher, Brandon Chaney, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F. Changelang, and Aldelsa Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.